This is the first lesson in science module 1, living and non-living things. After this lesson, you should know how to observe living and non-living things and look out for their similarities and differences. You should also be able to describe the characteristics of living and non-living things. Let's start, shall we? Now, what are living and non-living things? Anything which is alive is called a living thing. For example, this crab or these sunflowers you see over here. Anything which is not alive is a non-living thing. For example, this soccer ball. There are lots of, kind, lots of living and non-living things around us. You look around, you should be able to name a few. These living things, these things are classified according to their characteristics, like how they are alike or how they are different. Let's move on to find out what do living things require. Living things need three basic things. Air, food and water. Without any of these three basic things, we can survive for a short period of time but sooner or later, we will die. Non-living things, on the other hand, they do not need air, they do not need food, and they do not need water. Have you heard of a soccer ball dying before? I don't think so, right? So what can living things do? Now, living things can have young or reproduce. Living things reproduce so that there will always be living things like themselves around. Most of the young look like adults, but not all of them. Animals reproduce by either laying eggs or giving birth to their young alive. Plants, on the other hand, they reproduce by seeds, spores or from other plant parts. Living things can also grow. Living things will grow in size as the time passes. The young of most animals are usually not as developed as the adults. As the young grows, they will develop into a mature adult. And lastly, living things can respond to changes around them, such as light, touch, sound and movement. You can see in this picture this sunflower it responds to changes around it by facing the direction of the sun. It is this response mechanism that ensures living things continue to survive by adapting to the environment. So, that's it. You have now successfully learned about living and non-living things. Enjoy. Bye-bye.